What's up guys? Welcome back to the Q Speed RC YouTube channel. Today we got a new build. It's going to be a Traxxas UDR. This is for Side by Side Blogs Nick Leonard. This is going to be just for racing here recently on their show. They've been getting into some RC racing, racing their UDRs. How their cars are running on 3S. So we're going to get this rig built up just to race on their track on 3S. That's the rules. And I'm pretty sure all the rest of it is uh, open, fair game. Stock electronics, 3S. So these are pretty heavy rigs. We're going to remove all the scale accessories we can. Get the weight down on this thing as low as possible. And we got a really good servo for it. We're going to gear this thing up just a little bit because 3S is a little bit slow. That's half power. We got sway bars. We're going to try to get this suspension dialed in. We're not going for a scale rig. We're going for just handling. Purely racing. Get the weight down low. Maximum handling. So we're going to keep you guys tuned in along the way here. This is going to be a first for my channel doing a build along with the rig. I already got some of the scale accessories took off of it already and I've already did my baseline test drive with it so there's definitely a lot to be desired as far as making and handling improvements I think this is going to be a really good build and you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll get on to the next step okay we're on to the next part here I got the front sway bars pre-installed they're not I've, all the way tightened up yet just got the new servo in here hot racing servo horn the, the factory one is right here it's a plastic job so not the best and we got these uh, factory tie rods that were plastic so now we got metal tie rods this thing's gonna have a way better steering it's super smooth and also we got the fans hooked up i did a fan mod here you can see the hole there it works when you plug the battery in like this the fan kicks on i feel it from the other side too and then you put this cover on You get lots and lots of air coming out of the back now around the motor, so that it's way, way better. And now, let's get this thing put back together. and I'll flip it over and give you guys an update on the top side. Let me get some of these screws put back in this thing, and we'll get back with you. All right, we got this thing flipped back over got all the wires tidied up and plugged in everything's ready to go ec all that stuff now i'm going to give you guys a little peek on how this uh, fan is working i can plug it in here there we go the fan just goes straight above the motor right there the motor's right inside there you can see and now when you put your hand back here at the back all kinds of air is blowing out of there so that's going to help keep this thing a lot cooler because that motor being encased like that is really not the best design but it is for scale rig now uh, we're gonna just got the front sway bars locked tighted and everything's buttoned up up here and the sway bars are working great the factory ones are a joke they won't they won't even you know transfer any weight to the other side so let me finish getting some stuff buttoned up here and uh i'll give you guys a peek whenever we uh get a little bit more of it put back together okay we got the build going back together guys We've got all the shocks on it sway bars front and rear stiffer springs on the shocks i've changed the fluid in them and to increase the damping i did the vertical spare tire mod i'm waiting on the rear trailing arms i cut the passenger driver out i could have took the both drivers out but i decided to leave the main driver just for the cool factor and everything on the insides hooked up the 
fan, the direct power servo. That's gonna help this thing steer a lot better. We've got the metal tie rods on. And we've removed a bunch of accessories off of this and all the body panels. I got all kinds of parts in a bag. I probably took a pound of stuff off of it. That alone's gonna make it drive better. So when these other parts come in, We'll get those thrown on and I'll get back with you on the next part as soon as we get some more stuff in. And on the next section of the video, we'll probably have the body on. All right, guys, we got this bad boy back together. Beadlock wheels and tires come in. Got the body put on. Got, I cut out the vent, the hood scoop. Got the single driver in there. We did the cooling mods. There's the fan that cools the motor back there is a fan exposed to cool the ESC of course we did all the suspension tuning we got metal tie rods you can't get a good shot of them there they are we got the metal trailing arms we did the vertical spare tire mod as much weight reduction as possible took everything off that doesn't make it function I even took the disc brakes off the thing because they're useless. And I think that's pretty much it, guys. I did a, well, there's a lot of tuning in the suspension. I redid those two or three times until I got them the way I wanted them. And I drove it, night and day difference. The truck is a lot more stable, a lot less body roll. You can uh, pitch it in the curves a lot harder now. These tires got a lot more traction than the stock tires. But I hope everybody's pleased with it. I think it turned out pretty good. Decided to stop the video short on my ending and get this thing out and get some real good shots of it in its natural habitat before we send it off. Good looking rig guys. I hope everybody likes it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've seen anything in the video you guys like, leave a comment. Thanks.